What is going on ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another 90 Day Fiancé video and this one is all about Memphis. Why? Because the saga itself in particular freaking continues. Now normally in this saga, it's usually Memphis, Hamza and Hamza's sister. But this time around, ladies and gentlemen, we've now got a new addition to the whole freaking saga. And this happens to be Hamza's current housemate, the person that he's obviously staying with. And from what I understand, this person also wants to keep themselves anonymous. But hey, that is basically what I've discovered so far about this human being. But nonetheless though, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into it, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel. Now also on top of that, this video here itself in particular, every screenshot that I have, I came across this screenshots on a page called 90 day chisme so shout out to them credit where credit's freaking due but with that being said though ladies and gentlemen as you can see here Hamza's sister starts off with this post in particular by saying I think it's time to talk about the truth and what my brother went through trying to make someone look bad and lying to them is inhumane every word I say I have proof all you do is lie, which is obviously the rest of the word at the bottom. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at this moment in time, that was only just the beginning. But hey, as far as I'm concerned, Memphis, all she does is lie. I believe that. But let's proceed. Now, obviously, as you can see here, she follows up by saying, sending conversations and claiming that they are leaked is a stupid idea. All you do is lie. And let's be real, ladies and gentlemen, the conversations that we witnessed yesterday were obviously from Memphis's phone because obviously they were screenshot from her side. And only when they screenshot from her side, but when we saw the conversations, it looked like Memphis had a lot of things to say and Hamza had very little, which therefore really did kind of bring in the speculation that most probably that Memphis probably took away some of the responses that she received from Hanza before she decided to obviously leak the freaking conversation because to be honest with you, I don't know how else they could have been leaked. And plus, this is Memphis. Memphis would do anything to keep their attention on herself and she'll do anything to keep the narrative running because right now, as far as I'm concerned, even though she claims to be in this mental state, which she could be, I also do believe that she's doing all of this because she's just loving the attention that it's bringing to her because in my opinion, if I say that she's a golden child, like I said before, it means to be fair she's also probably also an attention seeker but nonetheless though ladies and gentlemen let's move on to the rest of this post so followed up was this was the next one the first thing i will explain is why hamza wants to move with his wife and the kids are and the kids to another city you can find another answer i just want you to expose other people's lies now of course when it comes to expose other people's lives that part i cannot necessarily explain because i'm not too sure whom she's obviously referencing to but obviously at this moment in time this is when we this is when it got a little bit more interesting and i believe this is the introduction of the person that is currently staying with hamza but uh Hey, let's not mess about and let's get into this one. As you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, someone obviously said, Hi, do you know what she means? And obviously, this is based, based, this is based on the post that we just saw a second ago, ladies and gentlemen. Now, of course, at that moment in time, this is when the response started happening. And as you can see here, Hamza wants to stay away and just live in peace. I saw Hamza yesterday. Him's okay, but he's working through things, you know. Yeah, because she talk a lot to her ex-husband and a mother of Memphis talk so bad to Hamza. He is not her business. It is not her business. I know the family is always wondering about about the daughter because it might not be Hamza's, you know. See, this is the part where it gets even more interesting, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Because, of course, for such a long time, ourselves in particular, a lot of us have questioned if this child really is Hamza's purely because of how everything went down. I mean, listen, for the people that don't know, let me just give you a quick little newsflash that's the word <laughs> and what happened was basically when they met on nine day fiance she wanted to have sex with instant on the very on the very first day two weeks later on based on how long that we was told she was there boom bam she was talking about how she was already pregnant with his child so that's why a lot of people are thinking okay there is obviously different different opinions. Some people have come out to say, well, you know, you can get pregnant early. Some people have come out to say, well, you know, I always know, I, I knew I knew when I was pregnant before, da, 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 da. But the matter of fact is, though, the way Memphis went about it was very suspect. And the reason why it was very suspect wasn't even just because she, she basically slept, slept with him on the first night by basically, not necessarily forced him, but basically, now she basically, in my opinion, she forced him. But that wasn't even really the now on the coffin. The now on the coffin was more... The fact that she then admitted that she had stayed with her ex-husband 
prior to obviously flying over to meet my man Hamza. And of course, she never said that they did anything together, but hey, you never know, you never know if you never know <laughs> but let's proceed ladies and gentlemen now at this moment in time i'm going to show you some screenshots of a whatsapp conversation now let's get into it now as you can see here ladies and gentlemen the conversation itself in, in at hand starts off with um hamza's sister he don't feel angry about the kids or about your husband and you and you know up and you know and you know that Hamza he understand your situation and he can't hide his feelings that he feel jealous when you be in your ex-husband house. It's not a problem. He can understand your situation and understand too his feeling. It's normal he feels like this. He trusts you, but he can't accept that you speak to another. Just by time, he he will know Justin and he will trust him. And this is the thing, ladies and gentlemen, you know, as far as I'm concerned. The first time Hamza knew and heard about Justin, what did he hear? Well, what did he know? What did he hear? He heard that basically Memphis had obviously stayed with him throughout the time and them two were in a relationship. And only did Memphis stay with him, but Memphis said, I quote, not word for word, but I quote, that she was going through a tough time and he was there for her to support her and give her what she needed, right? And the matter of fact is though, Hamza being a man, me being a man myself in particular, why the hell would I be okay with you going to your ex for comfort when you're going for a tough time? You come to me, and if I'm not in the same country as you, where do you go? You go to a family member or to a friend. Going to your ex, that's a no-go. For me personally, the second that should have told me that, <laughs> I'd have been like, listen, I know you pay for the flat and all that, but guess what though? That's a you problem because I don't know why you thought you could fly all the way over here to then tell me that you were staying with your ex-hubby and you want me to not have any assumptions about something could be could have gone on. <laughs> you're moving absolutely freaking mad. Legit. The channel name, you're moving mad. But nonetheless, though, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on with the rest of the freaking conversation. But anyway, as you can see, Hamza needs to understand that that Justin is a good guy and good father. He only wants the best for everyone. Listen, Hamza should be happy. Without Justin, I could have I, I could not have gone to Tunisia. I mean, listen, if that's the case, I tell you what, if you're telling me or she's wanna tell my man over here that hey, you would have never been able to go, or I would have never been able to come see if it wasn't for Justin, well, my response would have been, Well, that's still not my problem. You should have just stayed there with him. You can't tell me that you're here because of your ex how the hell is that going to make me feel <laughs> now nah, we, ain't, we ain't playing them kind of games you ain't gonna use some sort of sympathy thing or some sort of madness to, to say to me you know, listen the matter of fact is this if i was in this position i don't care what you're telling me you should have never came simple as that because to be honest with you I just don't trust you now. And, 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 and to be fair, if there was any possible possible way of me being able to trust Memphis in this situation, there's only one way. And the only way would have been if she would have told me before she flew over to come and see me. But she didn't do that. She flew over, slept with him, talked about marriage, talked about bare flipping madness stuff and, and, and put him under a lot, of, a lot of stress too, you know? She was trying to get him to do this, do that, everything. Meanwhile, share this little secret. Am I a dickhead? <laughs> That's what I would have said to myself if I had been Hamza. So as far as I'm concerned, the fact that she flew all the way to Tunisia without even telling him prior? Nah. But again, though, even if she had told me or Hamza prior, I can't say that that would have been okay, to be honest with you. Nah, it wouldn't have been okay. You could have told me. I would have been like, you know what? I respect the fact that you told me. But in reality, <laughs> you mugged me off. You know what? It was nice knowing you. <laughs> Good luck with your next with your, with your next little partner. You know what I mean? I don't want that kind of drama around me. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, ladies and gentlemen, let's proceed. <laughs> Sorry, it's just this is just so funny to me and pathetic to be fair. But anyway, the rest of it continues by saying, Sister Hamza does not mind to speak with your ex-husband, but he feels so jealous when you go alone to his house. Obviously, of course, why wouldn't he? But anyway, Justin is not here. He's at work and he and when he gets here, I'll be leaving. I just can't leave the kids alone. That is life. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, this is when the narrative changes. And this is and, and when I say this is where the narrative changes though, in particular, what I'm trying to say is this is that if Memphis had gone about things in a different way, things could have been more cordial. And how could she have gone about things in a different way? Well, it's very simple. The first time that they met, online and they were having conversations now i'm not saying that this didn't happen but based on what's happening right now it's evident that it didn't happen but this is one of the very first conversations that you have hey guess what 
I've got two kids. Okay, that's cool. And I've also got baby fathers. Okay, no worries. I still want to get to know you. No problem. Okay. Now, just so you know, obviously, if you and I become a thing, I just want you to know that, of course, I'm going to be seeing my my baby fathers or my baby father at this moment in time, because of course we are co-parenting our children. Okay, no worries. Now, of course, sometimes that means obviously I'm gonna be there with him in a location by myself with him, whatever. To be fair, that's not something that you really have to say because that's just a bit too much to be fair. So let me retract that, you know what I'm saying? So let's go back to my role-playing situation here. But the matter, actually, not forget that. The matter of fact is this, right? There are certain things that you iron out at the very beginning of a relationship. You, before you even get into the relationship, to make sure that this man is going to be able to come into your life with you having children. But that's not what happened. What happened was Memphis flew and then told him that, guess what? I stayed with him when I was going for a bad time. And I won't lie to you, if, when a man hears, you, you did what? When you was going through what? A, a bad what? A bad time? Okay, so you're telling so basically you had the nookie nookie, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. But a bad time means a vulnerable time. Don't be messing about with me. <laughs> and I know you're a horny little ting because as soon as you got here, you wanted to get, you wanted to jump on, jump on the pipe instantly. You know what I mean? So the fact that you wanted to give me that energy straight away doesn't mean that I can trust you. So personally, the way Memphis has gone about it is obviously cut for clear that it's obviously been the wrong way but the wrong way about it ladies and gentlemen but anyway with that being said though let's go back to memphis's not memphis sorry hamza's sister obviously at this moment in time hamza's sister comes up by saying my brother wanted to move because he did not want to be in the same place with her ex-husband and he also wanted to find a job to help his wife and the kids not for any other reason and to be honest with you ladies and gentlemen that reason can only be respectful and only be well, just only be really respectful, do you know what I mean? But of course, you know, when it comes to 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 to, to Memphis, she's always going to find a way to make things be a bit more <sighs> challenging than what they already are. But hey, ladies and gentlemen, let's proceed though, because boy, we ain't even near halfway through yet. There's still a lot more to go through. Ah, I told you, it's going to be a long video. But anyway, let's get into the next part of the freaking video. So as you can see here, some more screenshots of another conversation that's also been leaked. By the way, do you know anything about why Memphis said Hamza was abusing her? Who? Salam. Yeah, Memphis all the time yell at Hamza. Uh, say he never support her with the house things. Has he needs to get? Um, has he needs to get job or do them house chore? Memphis no say things nice. Every time she yells and talk loud, and Hamza get frust frust frustrate. So Hamza yell back and Memphis put hands on Hamza like push and Hamza push back and even times she threatened to call the police. She kick Hamza out, no money, nothing, and she don't care about Hamza. Remember, I told you she talked too much to X and she told Justin Hamza abuse Hamza. Uh, Hamza abuse Hamza not. Hamza abuse Hamza not abusive. He not he no like disrespect from Hamza. He's a man. Um Hamza. Yeah, so 100, 100, 100 depressed and Memphis more kick him out. Honestly, it is quite challenging, obviously, reading something that isn't obviously in clear English. But at the end of the day, I understand that the people that we're speaking to at the moment in time, obviously, English is not the first language. So, you know, give him credit where credit is due. But let's proceed, though, ladies and gentlemen. She every time complained and Hamza tried to not fight because Hums, because Hims no, uh, Hims are alone, you know, no mother, no sister, no nothing. Memphis all the time asks for sexy time and Hamza not like she want him like a sex animal. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> you know what I told you? Right? Listen, she likes the pipe. So there's no way she was staying with ex hubby and not doing a thing. Trust me. But anyway, let's proceed, ladies and gentlemen. Now, obviously here, it continues by saying, and hims say Memphis can't cook. Oh, that's peak, man. Listen, I'm going to lie to you, man. If a woman can't cook, you know what that means to me, right? Red flag, I'm out. Boom. I don't care good, how good your pom-pom is. <laughs> you ain't, we ain't ever going to be a thing. <laughs> we can be sex buddies. That's about it. But, boy, if you can't cook, <laughs> if I can cook better than you, well, I'm, I'm, I'm a decent chef to, be, chef, to be fair. Now, if you can't cook, it's a problem. I'm out. <laughs> you you, you want to get married? <laughs> Hell no. I'm just a clown. Hamza should have vetted her too. I've been talking about how members should have vetted Hamza. Well, Hamza should have vetted her too. Caesar. <laughs> yeah, don't slide in my DMs if you can't cook. Notice. <laughs> Actually, just don't slide in them in general. But anyway, <laughs> let's proceed, ladies and gentlemen. He sometimes want different kind of food. She not want to make it. I don't know. Memphis is weird, I think. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be laughing, but it's just the way my man was just like, oh, it could, could even be a she, to be honest with you. Memphis is weird, I think. 
I mean, obviously, I wouldn't go as far as saying she's weird for not better cook, but it's definitely um strange, isn't it? Um, is it strange? It's just not for me. That's all I want to say about that. But here's the thing, though, ladies and gentlemen, before we wrap up the whole video, though, there is one more screenshot. And this one is actually from Memphis's Instagram page, which is something that I did see myself earlier on today. But let's uh, let's have a look, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see here, <laughs> Memphis obviously came out with this little cheeky one by saying two things I will never forget who stayed down and who switched up. I mean, listen, to be honest with you, the fact that at the bottom it says convicted statistic, to be honest with you, man, the way the way members behave, be behaving, <laughs> conviction isn't really. Yeah, yeah. Well, let, let's just leave that one alone. Right. But end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, that was the end of it all at this moment in time. But understand, though, this is where the saga literally still continues purely because, well, look at it this way, ladies and gentlemen. Memphis has obviously had the last say at this moment in time. And let's not forget yesterday, Memphis said that she needs to have the last say because, hey, her having the last say is always so freaking important. But at the end of the day, at this moment in time, ladies and gentlemen, things are going down between Memphis, Memphis's sister, no, Hamza's sister, Hamza. And now we've got, even got a new freaking party to the freaking mix. And this is obviously Hamza's current housemate. But to be fair, it's nice that he's also got someone to stay with. You know what I mean? Throughout these very challenging times. And to be honest with you, it is quite disgusting what is actually happening. And um, it's, it's kind of annoying because a part of me really wants to see if there's a way where maybe memphis is telling some truth maybe there's a there's a way where memphis you know may may not be in the wrong you know and a part of me definitely wants to investigate and see you know is there somewhere where maybe hamza has done something wrong per se but the matter of fact is though the more evidence that keeps coming out the more and more it still goes into Hamza's favor rather than Memphis's favor. And to be honest with you, Memphis already painted this picture of herself anyway from the very get-go. It's something that I already said yesterday anyway. But I, it's important I remind you guys that at the end of the day, this isn't about being biased towards Memphis or picking on Memphis or any of that kind of shebang. It's the fact is this. She set a narrative from the very get-go of 90 Day Fiance. And since that narrative that she said, all she's ever done is literally elab um, um, capitalized on it time and time again with just more and more just abusive um is abusive the words with just more and more unnecessary actions yeah unnecessary actions you know and if we add up all the actions that we've noticed so far at this moment in time ladies and gentlemen like honestly 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 i sit here and i say to myself you know what is wrong with what is wrong with you memphis like for a woman of her age and a woman of her intelligence you would expect a far better more civil reaction to her behavior do you know what i'm saying but she's out here just embarrassing herself more and more leaking conversations now we've got more conversations being leaked now we've got a fourth party to the mix as well someone that we didn't even know about you know and then also on top of that we've got hamza she's always having to speak for hamza the whole thing is an absolute poop show you know what I mean? But nonetheless, though, you guys let me know what you're thinking in the comment section. Because as far as I'm concerned, the saga, for me, not only does it continue, but I feel like the saga has only just begun. Because let's not forget, though, these two are still not divorced, okay? And obviously, throughout that period of time of them going for a divorce, expect there to be more and more things happening around Memphis's name. 100%. I, I see nothing. I, I don't doubt it in any kind of way. And the fact, the fact is, though, I, I, will ask, I will say this, though. If Memphis obviously came out talked about how Hamza had been obviously been abusing her right physically apparently according to that well my question is so why didn't she ever ring the authorities then you know what I mean because that's always something that's very subjective to a lot of these claims sometimes that some of these people make well not I don't want to say make up but obviously claim that happened allegedly but anyway with that being said thank you so much for your time ladies and gentlemen see you guys in the comment section like subscribe and peace